everyone welcome back to my channel as you can see I have new hair I have curly hair installed in which I got my hair done last Saturday so today I'm doing a little something different I want to show you all how I maintain my curly hair and just my routine so far for it my hair has been in for three days so I think I have a little routine down pack of how I like to do my curly hair right now I just have it kind of split down the middle into two ponytails and I'm going to tell you all the different items that you need for this hair routine. So the first thing you're going to need is a towel. This is actually optional because this can be done in the shower but I just prefer to do it sitting down or on my bed or in my bathroom. So you need a big towel. You're going to need a powder brush which I got this from Dollar Tree so this was very inexpensive $1. And you're going to need a dimming light brush. I got this from samsbreedy.com. It was in my haul that I did last month. And this is just how it looks. Next, you're going to need whatever leave-in conditioner that you use. The one that I have right here is from Garnier. And I will put the name of it in the description box. And last but not least, you're going to need a spray bottle. And you're going to fill it with water. What I do with my water is I add in an essential oil into it. So... Um, I just mix that around so this is not just plain water it does have a little bit of oil in it so the first thing that you do is you get your towel and I'm just gonna drape it behind, over my shoulders I'm gonna extend it on this side since this is the side I'm going to do first and I'm really just using this towel because um, I am this is what I'm doing before I go to work, so I don't want to get my clothes wet. But if you have um, just got out, out of the shower, then it's okay, perfectly okay to not use a towel. It's just your personal preference. So I'm going to take off my little scrunchie that I had on. And I'm going to use this brush to brush through it and kind of detangle the section. So I start by brushing the end of the hair and just going to brush through it pretty quickly. And your hair probably is going to get a little big after you do this, but don't be alarmed. That's normal, which is normal for this, the hair that I have in. And I will have in the description box the hair and the different specs of it. This is all 26 inches and I have a 20 inch closure in. Okay, this is how the hair looks out there. It has been brushed through. As you can see, it's getting pretty big, but it's not extremely frizzy. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take half of this. I'm going to clip up the other half. So I guess you can put on your list a clip. This is just a little claw clip that I have. I'm going to clip this up out of my way. And I'm going to start on this section right here. What I do is I take a little bit of my leave-in conditioner. About that amount. And I'm just going to smooth it over the hair. Rub it on my hand and smooth it over the hair. And this just is going to tame the curls just a little bit. See it's already defining it a little bit. And now I'm going to use the water bottle. And I'm going to use a good amount of this water just to wet it. And I start out on the end and I spray a good amount of water to dampen it. And I kind of rub that through the hair. And then I take the brush, the dimming brush, and I brush that through. And 
and I just let me cook this a little better and I just keep repeating this process keep brushing through it until it is defined like I want it to be defined And you can see that these curls are nice and defined now. You can run your fingers through them. And this hair comes to my waist almost when it's in this state, when it's in a wet state like this. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to repeat the process on top here. You do want to get this at the top of your hair, so on the all of it, starting where my closure is, or if you have a leave out, you're going to want to do the exact same process on your leave out so your hair can blend in well. And this is the finished product of how my curls look once I have detangled them and smoothed them out. Okay, now that this is fully detangled and tamed and everything, now I'm going to show you what I do to kind of keep it in place. I don't have to keep repeating this process because the hair is going to get bigger even though you have sprayed it down. Once it dries, it is going to poof out a little bit more. So what I do is, and I do the same routine before I go to sleep. This is what I'm doing now because once I do this, then I'm going to finish doing my makeup. But I'm just going to divide this side in half like this. And I like to do start twisting it. I like to start kind of tight and start twisting it. Now you can do a whole braid or whatever your preference is, but I just prefer to twist it because I feel like I can take it down faster. And once I get to a certain point, about, hmm, about with this much hair left, then I will divide it into three sections and then finish the end of it with a braid. Because I do like to make sure that the ends of my hair are really defined. And this is my first time ever getting curly hair. I really like it so far. It's not extremely high maintenance. 
because once I do this and then like I said I do this before I go to sleep as well I didn't last night so I could show the true state of the hair after a day of not doing anything to it okay and that's how that looks and what I do is I spray the end the little excess on the end a little bit more with water and I kind of just smooth it out on the hair and wrap it around my finger and I just hold this in place a little bit and just pull it off and I cry kind of form a little ringlet on the end and that's all I do and just move the rest of the excess water on the top of my hair and that's pretty much it and I will do the other side as well so pull my towel over on this side and start doing the exact same thing And this is how this side looks. It's completely defined and detangled and everything. I'm just going to repeat the same process and braid it and I'll be right back. And it's going to bring us to the end of this video. I hope that you all enjoyed my curly hair routine. If you have any other tips to kind of define my curls even more, please let me know. Let me know if you have a different routine and what do you like to incorporate in yours or if you use some of the same products I use. Please let me know down below. As always, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching.